Hi there, welcome to Wandalist channel. I have visited USA three times as part of my job, and here I am planning to share a memory of my travels in USA. My work location was in Salt Lake City of Utah State in USA. In this series we will go through some small journeys, and the main travel to Yellowstone National Park which was done in June of 2018. Here we are starting with a visit to Antelope Island which is in Salt Lake City of Utah. Salt Lake City is the capital of Utah. Antelope Island State Park is surrounded by the Great Salt Lake. Antelope Island is 28,022 acres and is 24 kilometers long and 7.2 kilometers at its widest point. Even though it is called Antelope Island, there is no antelope in the island, the park is most famous for its herd of bison. Great Salt Lake is the eighth largest terminal lake in the world. There are many places for doing trekking and camping, we did some trekking through the trails. Great Salt Lake is a remnant of Lake Bonneville, a prehistoric body of water that covered much of western Utah. The lake is the last remaining part of a vast inland Pleistocene sea, Lake Bonneville. It right up and leaves Great Salt Lake Utah Lake, Sevier Lake, and Rush Lake as its remnants. Once we finished view trekking, the raining started heavily, so we went back to Salt Lake City and went to Snowbird Resort which is a ski resort having snow-based activities. The summer is started by that time so there is no activities, so we enjoyed our first snow experience. Then we went to Park City. Park City hosted the Winter Olympics in 2002. There is an Olympic Park on the way. We see more snow there, and we started shivering because it's windy. From there we continued our journey to Provo City. The journey was through pine forests and snow. We see different kinds of deers on the way. After the forest we see the beautiful mountains. We also see Deer Creek Reservoir. There's trekking trails to the mountains and we can see the cars parked by the trekkers, we didn't go for trekking as we were tired with trekking in the morning. These travels are done in 2018, when I was in USA. We went to Yellowstone National Park in June 2018. We started from Salt Lake City, and first stop was Echo Reservoir. The earthen dam was constructed in 1931. It has a height of 158 feet, impounding the water of the Weber River. It's a state park, you can do camping, boating and fishing here. We see the place, and continues our journey to Yellowstone. Our next stop is Bear Lake. In our journey to Bear Lake we can see different terrains of land which is changing frequently. We didn't click much pictures or videos, so I cannot show you what I see with my eyes, but it was a dream drive. Amazing nature different terrains, what a day! In between I tried to drive the car. I drove around 50 miles, because it's a single stretch there was nothing much to be cautioned about. It was a great experience. We traveled almost 650 kilometers on that day to reach Yellowstone North Entrance. Actually we will first reach the South Entrance, when we travel from Salt Lake City, but due to hotel availability we had to travel to the North Side for our night stay. I am showing you more pictures here is because in 2018 I had no idea of creating a YouTube channel and was capturing the visuals to my heart, not even in pictures or videos. With the limited available videos and pictures I am trying to give a glimpse of what we experience. Bear Lake State Park is a state park of Utah, along the shore of Bear Lake on the Idaho border. Recreational activities include water skiing, swimming, scuba diving, and sailing are available here. We see many people came here for camping and boating. We went there the previous weekend of July 4th, so the places were crowded. 
Bear Lake is a natural freshwater lake on the Idaho-Utah border in the western United States. The lake has been called the Caribbean of the Rockies for its unique turquoise blue color, which is due to the refraction of calcium carbonate, limestone, deposits suspended in the lake. Bear Lake is over 250,000 years old. Originally named Black Bear Lake by Donald McKenzie, an explorer for the Northwest Fur Company who explored the lake in 1819, the name was later shortened to Bear Lake. The lake is a popular destination for tourists and sports enthusiasts, and the surrounding valley has gained a reputation for having high-quality raspberries. We also tried the world-famous raspberries shake, and it was yummy. We will continue our journey to the Jackson in the next video, we will see more waterfalls and dams on the way, so stay tuned. Thank you for watching the video, please hit like button, if you like the video, subscribe the channel for more videos like this. Thank you. See you in the next.